honesty you've used that word Thierry it's about being honest to yourself and it's about being honest to, to those that, that follow you closely and, and you were very honest quite recently in actual fact where you admitted to you know the, the fact and, and we go back to it it's a topic I'm sure you've spoken about numerous times the, the incident against Ireland back in 2009 whereby the first time of in your career you were the bad guy Obviously Spurs fans, Man United fans, but huge respect for you, irrespective of you scoring goals. But for the first time, you were universally seen by a lot of fractions as the bad guy. Looking back on that 12 years ago, Thierry, how has time kind of made you look back on that particular incident? And would you have dealt with it any way differently now knowing what you know 12 years on? No, I think you go you go through a moment in life that shapes you. You can't. You can't, this is what shaped you, whatever happened in your life. You can't go back and say, I would have done this, I would, then I would not have been the same person. You know, it is what it is. And I said it at the time, it was a bad, you know, but Robbie is there. He will remember Stefan and Show and bowling the ball on the line when we played in the final. Yeah. By the way, they got the, they got the goal kick. Not only they got a goal kick and Ancho put his, his arm out to save the ball. That's what you do as a player. Sorry, you have, a, you have that bad reaction, that bad moment that you extend your arm. I didn't think about it. It happened. Was, 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 I, was, I, was I proud of it? No, I wasn't proud of it. It happened. The resident blew the whistle. I wasn't proud of it. I'm not, still not proud of it. But things happen in the game. Like I said to you, lost the FA Cup final against, against Liverpool that night. Nobody remembers that Anshof unballed the ball on the line, pretended to go with his head and push it with his, with, with his end. I didn't hear anyone crying for Arsenal at the end of the game. Me, Liverpool, scored two goals at the end, two goals of Michael Owen. I didn't hear a peep about the handball of Encho. Regardless of what happened, it is what it is. It's something that happened in the game. It's a game of football. This is where the game of football goes really far. After, with all the abuse that I got, whether I deserve it or I didn't deserve it, it's still something that happened on the football pitch. Maradona... Lionel Messi yeah. scored a goal like that against Espanyol Barcelona with his end. He scored it. I didn't hear, hear anyone killing Lionel Messi. Anyway, anyhow, it happened to me. I had to take it. I took it. But I, was I proud of it? No. Uh, did you, I nearly didn't even go to the World Cup. Little you know, uh, they, 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 a lot of stuff happened. It became a, a political problem. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Ministers, talk, prime ministers talking about it, the uh, president talking about it. I was like, oh, but when I'm going to did I kill someone? You know, some people were praised. When Lionel Messi scored that goal against uh, Espanol Barcelona, I think it was, they said, oh my God, he's getting closer to Maradona. What a genius. <laughs> I was a devil. It's okay. Yeah. I accepted it. I explained to you, uh, am I proud of it? No. Do I, do I get abused by the Irish fans sometimes? Yes, I do. Uh, and, uh, and, and it's hard to take because this is not the type of player I am. But you can't, you can't when you have an, 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 a bad instinct, the reaction is difficult to explain. I can't explain it because it happens. Um, but this is where it becomes difficult. And I'm not saying that for people to go, oh, my God. You know, no. But then after that, the abuse that I got, I received letters death threat. My daughter had to go to school with, with a bodyguard for two weeks because I was scared. We know where you live. I was in Barcelona, don't get me wrong, but my daughter was still here. And then I'm not trying to make it sound better than what it is because it happened. But Robbie will tell you the impact that he has on your family sometimes, this is where it becomes difficult. Because on something that I didn't think about doing, it was an instinct reaction, the bad instinct reaction that players do often when they're in and around the ball. And I'm sure, Robbie, you must have learned it. When, you, yeah. when that ball is here, you extend your arm and it comes out. It's a, it's, I'm not saying it's right at all, but it yeah. comes out. Um, yeah. But after, I'll be honest with you, it was hard. It was hard because, because you're receiving stuff like that uh, at, at, at my ex's wife and, 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 and because I got scared, I put a, a bodyguard for my daughter. I never shared that, but, you know, I'm sharing it now. Understand me well. Please understand me well. I'm not saying this to make what happened better or not yeah. better. It has nothing to do with anything. But that was hard. This is the, the stuff that sometimes people do not understand. You don't want to receive death threats. You don't want to receive 
uh, whatever. You don't want uh, your daughter to be targeted. You don't want, uh, you don't want that. But it was, and you know, you know, you know, you went away, and I can, I can joke about it now. You know, it's a bit better. Uh, you know, I digested it. Um, but yeah, you know, you can't go for a career of twenty years without, without a little problem. 